television C and Skull, I'm here to lead to mature discussion about the program you just watched. Joining me are Lupo. Fuck yeah. I think we can all agree that thing that I've done I some pretty crazy and things. Lupo. Like the time okay, where I stuck my arm so into do you the have any comments about the show to show you why just getting an alligator watched? as a pet is not a good idea. Anyone? Ready? Everyone ready? Rolling. Rolling. Oh, GoPro. There. What Rolling. do you think of the show? Yeah. Space Ghost. I'm here to okay. lead a mature discussion One, about the program you just watched. Two, Joining me are three. Oh that thing. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That and my arm early time. Not. Then there was the time I felt okay. the same arm. Two of so, do you have any comments about the show we just watched? To show you what it's like to be feasted on by one of the world's oh, most notorious no. parasites. Uh, Look at that. You there. All over me. What did you think of the show? Oh, I can definitely feel something happening. Okay, uh, it feels like what about Green Atom was released in 1995 because of YouTube. And it's all about the amount of anti-cognitive effects that are in the it's all the same. Lupa, comments? Sharks only bite. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so bad. Like I said, they don't show movies and there's something so bad. You, how do you learn about this animation? No, no. You'll get to me. Right now we're talking to you. Okay, who else? You see that? We'll get to you. And you said fine. Right now we're talking to this happening. However, pathetic that your Okay, so explain this now. Your human dad put his human penis in your shark mother's vagina. And you sat by. Let this happen. Pathetic.
I've never been to this before. But I can tell you that the pain is unbelievable right now. All but number four. I'm actually slightly liking it to the Gila monster at this point. It feels really hot. Really, really hot. Ah. Look out, Ah, uh, hot to the touch. Why? Because Butch sees my arm is warm to you. Oh, yeah. It's all really, it's like really taut. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, well, let me walk around for a second. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's come back into the scene here. Ah. Oh, you little bugger. Oh, I am lightheaded at the moment, but the sting from the tarantula hawk is serious. I can see why it's ranked as a two on the insect sting pain index. And at this juncture, I think it's safe to say that I've worked my way up the ladder and am ready for the bullet ant challenge. I know you are all waiting in anticipation for that one. Trust me, it's coming. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's let this go back off into the desert. We safely released the tarantula hawk back into the wild. And as it flew away, I think we were all a bit relieved that this sting was over and done with. And while the impact of the sting and the intensity of the pain was far superior to that of the velvet ant, it only lasted for about five minutes. I had no major adverse reactions. However, my arm was sore for the rest of the day. And 24 hours later, it looked like a water balloon. And it really itches. And I really should niche it, but ah, oh, that feels so good. The tarantula hawk is an extraordinary insect. And while their sting is powerful, they have no interest in stinging humans. If you ever see one in the wild, admire it from a safe distance, as you have absolutely nothing to fear. That is, unless you are a tarantula. Have you ever wondered how to properly care for an insect sting? If so, make sure to check out this behind the adventure. And don't forget to subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Oh, that may be the best feeling I have had all day. Huh.